Good afternoon, I'm here with Florida Audit and we're going to go here to the Veterans Administration Honor Center and we are going to do a FOIA request. Mr. Jerry is going to do that for me. I'm going to watch him. Yeah, hello once again. Uh, Florida Audit. We're out here at the Honor Center for Veterans. I'm here today with uh, Blue Steel Media. We're here to do a FOIA request. We were here Tuesday and they violated our rights. They were trying to tell me I cannot film in the public area because they're full of shit. So we're here today to film in the lobby. Oh, I'm sorry. Here you go, friend. Thanks. Yes, sir. My pleasure. Oh, sir, I'm here today. I'm going to speak to somebody about getting a uh, FOIA request. Who is in charge of uh, records, custodian records? Sure thing. Thank uh, you, sir. Appreciate your service. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Sir. Yes, sir. I'm here to request a FOIA request for your security cameras from Tuesday, August the 10th. So then you need to go to the main hospital. No, nope, they say you do this. They have nothing to do with that. Do you have the FOIA form? So that we talk to them. You know, we do here. Well, you can write it out on paper. You can give my information. All I do is give you my information, and then I can leave. You could email it to me. I'm giving an email address. No, we don't email things like that to people. Yes, it's electronically to my email. That's how I get everything else. Who, who is this person? I don't know. I'm here by myself. Oh, no, but I don't know. Well, he he's filming also. Two heads are better than one, especially when you violate yeah. somebody's rights, like, like you did yesterday. Okay, we're going to have the police and have you... Make sure it's Gainesville, because they'll tell you. Don't call one of these one of these police from the VA. Because I talked to them today, and they, they said that I have a right to come in here and film in the lobby, straight out the mouth of Officer Potter. This is what I wanted the other day, came to a piece to come. But they did tell us we had every right to come here and do the That's FOIA. Right. We already been through the main hospital. Says that. <laughs> right. And I'm gonna get everybody's information that works here. You get your name, your position, your salary, all that. And I'm going to go out and film every vehicle in this parking lot once again. Power to the people. The power of the people. I'm going to power the United States Constitution, First Amendment, Fourth Amendment. I'm counting one, two, three, three cameras. Yeah, they're worried about our cameras and they got cameras in here. And our monitors are here. They got a room with the DVR in it and it'll be filmed. I've already been told that by the VA police. They do all that here. Whether you have a private company come do it, but they don't do it, they don't monitor your system. as you can see, once again, they're violating our constitutional rights. Why are they telling them I can't film in here? The, um, the greeter or the receptionist was professional, courtesy. He passed on the information that we were here. I 
and Northeast have been around there that he feels like a piece of shit for, for some reason violating the Constitution that he took to uphold. And you all, gentlemen, thanks for your service. says they supposed to call Gainesville for him. You know why they didn't? Because they know they were wrong. And Gainesville police is going to tell them they're wrong. And they brought one of their cronies up here. It's going to back up anything they tell them. Well, that's why Officer Showell is being, is going to get a complaint made against him. You hear him when he said there is a report made? He came in the next day and made a report. Yeah, it's because I told him I need an incident report. He said there ain't one. Yep. Yeah, he knew he was wrong. That's why he went ahead and made a report. Well, like it was stated, he, he, he shouldn't have come here. And one thing he has to say in his report that he was called here because I was filming. I tell you what, they got a big lawsuit coming. And it's a shame because those taxpayers are the ones going to have to pay for it. And he's selling it themselves. All because somebody is scared of the camera. That's ridiculous. No, all because somebody started a problem and it took a camera to come situate, get the situation straightened out. That one of the uh, cop that has no idea what in the hell the Constitution is. He wouldn't even identify himself. Good afternoon. I'm going to try to answer the ramp. Can I help you? Hey there, how you doing? Yep, this should have been short and sweet. FOIA request, it yep. could have been on a piece of paper snatched out of the printer. States chief of supervisor, she needs to take the information uh, that I want. I mean, I guess me. and give it to the person that's handling it. Yep. Uh, no, yes, yeah, on the phone. Because they need to fill it out in their own handwriting. Because if not, if you fill it out, they'll say, "Well, I couldn't read his writing." So that's the way they got to do it. Okay. You okay? Right, no oh, never you do your own tour? request. I get. I'm getting yeah, that now. That way you can't say you can't read the right, but they wrote it. Did you guys make it back? Yes, sir. Are you here to see somebody? Um, I'm, we're wanting a FOIA, Freedom of Information Act, so we can get all the camera footage from Tuesday. And it was an incident report made by Officer Showell indicating why he was called here yeah. because he knew the next day what he done was wrong, and his superiors told him, you've got to make an incident report. Sorry. He was called here for filming, which is my right. They didn't even admit it today. I just left there. We've already I, been... I'm hoping, this is the culmination of all of our work earlier today. I'm hoping Gainesville Police Department come here, because I always didn't know how yeah. we were coming here. And yes, they will yes. instruct you, that's my okay. right to oh. film in a lobby. I mean, it's a shame. People take notes to uphold the Constitution so, and violate it. So nobody's here for an appointment? No, we're conducting business on a FOIA request. On a what? A FOIA. Freedom of Information Freedom Act. Freedom of Information Act. The film, these cameras, all in here. We've already been to uh, all Malcolm all Randall. From Tuesday, August the 10th. We've already been to Malcolm Randall, and we... Uh, you got to tell them, don't volunteer no information to nobody. I got told you. Next thing we need to do, I need to go to his, his security. Security company he works for. 
and, oh, yeah. put, and we put his name. Hi, sir. What company do you work for? No, I'm not going to answer no questions. Say, say, he's violating his policy right here Excelsior, like New York. I know who he works for. I got it on video. I'm going to get his name, his position, his salary. I'm getting all this information. And if any complaints have been made against him, I'm getting all his complete work record. And anybody works there behind this desk. I need question all their information. At the games because she wants to play. The only thing I want to hear is from two. I'll get everybody's information that's involved here. I got everything on tape. Turn a very simple procedure into all this bullshit. Make sure any patients that come out of there, try not to get them on tape. For their privacy, I don't care about these people. They don't have a privacy. Yes, sir. With the respect of the patient. 